Hello everyone. Are you ready for bed? Not feeling sleepy yet? Why don't you have a listen to this story? There was a man, and he called together his servants and entrusted his money to them while he was gone on a long trip. He gave five bags of money to Chris, two bags of money to Ben, and one bag of money to Anthony, dividing it. In proportion according to their abilities, he then left on his trip. Wait, what? Why not an equal amount? I think that would have made Anthony feel bad about himself. Hmm. So you think that was unfair? Yeah. Let's see what each did with it. Chris, who received five bags, began to invest the money and earned five more. Ben, with two bags, also invested the money and made two more. But Anthony, who received one bag, dug a hole in the ground and hid the master's money. The first two invested the money. How do you think they did that? They could have started a business like selling goods or maybe invest in stocks. Okay. And what do you think of Anthony, who didn't do anything with the money?、Mm, I think because the master was away, he might have felt lazy to do anything, because there is no one to check up on him. Okay, but do you think he might have also felt afraid to lose his money, as he was given the least? Maybe. Okay, let's see what happened afterward. After a long time, their master returned from his trip and called them to give an account of how they had used his money. Chris, whom he had entrusted the five bags of money, came forward with five more and said, "Master, you gave me five bags of money to invest, and I have earned five more." The master was full of praise. Well done, my good and faithful servant. You have been faithful in handling this small amount, so I will give you many more responsibilities. Let's celebrate together. Ben, who had received the two bags of money, came forward and said, "Master, you gave me two bags of money to invest, and I have earned two more." The master said. Well done, my good and faithful servant. You have been faithful in handling this small amount, so I'll give you many more responsibilities. Let's celebrate together. Then Anthony, with one bag of money, came and said, "Master, I knew you were a harsh man, harvesting crops you didn't plant and gathering crops you didn't cultivate. I was afraid I would lose your money." So I hid it under the ground. Look, here's your money back. This time, the master replied, "You wicked and lazy servant! If you knew I harvested crops I didn't plant and gathered crops I didn't cultivate, why didn't you deposit my money in the bank? At least I could have gotten some interest on it." Then he ordered. Take the money from Anthony and give it to Chris. To those who use well what they are given, even more will be given, and they will have an abundance. But from those who do nothing, even what little they have will be taken away. Now, take Anthony out of this place. He's no longer my servant. Whoa! Two who doubled the amount got praised by the master. But the one who hid the money under the ground got punished. Yes, correct. What do you think of the master's behavior? I'm not sure. I understand that he praised Ben and Chris for their hard work, but if he had given out an equal amount to all three servants, the outcome might have been different, right? Possibly. Do you think he could have been safe? If he put the money in the bank as the master told him to, maybe. 
I wonder what would have happened to him if he tried to make more money, but ended up losing all, or some of it. Would the master have been angry as well? I mean, the fact that he still tried to do something with it, the master might have understood him. That is an interesting point. Let's save that talk for later. For now, good night, everyone. Good night.